Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. This is Chef Paul. With me today is Amy. Thank God she's home today. I'm so peaceful today. I'm really happy. Today we're going to make some homemade cranberry salsa. This is absolutely fresh. It's absolutely amazing. It tastes great. And I'm telling you, this is going to be, if you're looking for the holidays or Christmas or Thanksgiving, great seasonal dish. Or I don't really care. I'm going to eat it, eat it anyways. This is going to be awesome. So please hit the share, like, subscribe button, and we're going to show you the whole thing. Kitchen. This is Chef Paul, and with me today, believe it or not, is Chef Amy. Say hi, Chef Amy. Hi. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this from her for a second because I want to show you something really special. This is my wife that I've been missing forever, and now I bet you guys have been missing her too because now we actually have an actual camera person. So that's awesome. Yeah. Amy's been away, and she's just getting back. And what was yesterday, Amy? Our anniversary. How many years? Fifteen. I've been with this woman for 15 years plus. Yeah. That's how long we've been married, not along how long we've been together. I would suggest it's been an arranged marriage and we've never seen each other, but we have. This is my wife, my best friend. I've known her for 22 years, and I couldn't think of anybody better to spend my life with, and I tell you, I've missed her. So thanks for coming home, Amy. Yeah. All right, so today we're going to make some cranberry salsa. Cranberry salsa, you ask? Yeah, it's really weird. I've never heard of it before, but the other day we ate out at a, uh, a taco restaurant uh, for our anniversary meal, and they gave me a taco bowl with cranberry salsa. It was really, really good. Now, some uh, things to think about. When you're making your, uh, you're gonna make your tacos, if you're gonna include rice, do it the day before, stick it in the fridge. It makes it less starchy, makes it a little bit better. Uh, so, and also people are gonna tell you, oh, but you have to have sugar. Bull crap, you don't. You really don't. Uh, and I'm gonna prove that today. So I've got a bag of cranberries. I'd rather have the actual bag, but can you find them? So we're gonna stick them in this colander. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse and just basically clean them. Why? Because there can be some pretty gritty ones and that's never a good thing. So you just want to take a little bit of time and clean them. And yeah, you're going to have to really clean some stuff after because, yeah, well, guess what? It can be messy. Amy's favorite thing in the world. Right? No. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this and we're going to put this in a food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender. Blenders work good too, by the way. Uh, just make sure you're very careful of this because you don't want to make a mess. Uh, put it on a, like a small blend because we don't want it to turn into a puree. We just want to turn it into more of a um, just a crush mix here. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your time and you're going to blend this until it comes down. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole thing because it's you know pretty bad. But I'll show you some of the other ingredients we have. We have some jalapeno onion, sweet pepper, cilantro, and green onion. And me making a mess. I also have a line here somewhere. So what we're gonna do first, the two things we're, the three things we're gonna crush up, we're gonna crush up the cranberries, the jalapeno, and the onion. And then we'll come back once that's all been processed and we'll start with the next step then. So. I'll show you what I'm going to do here, just in case you've never seen a food processor, which you should, but... Simple. And when I take this out here, now if you're not used to food processors, be very careful. This can rip your hand apart. 
Amy, would you show mm -hmm. us what this looks like on the inside, please? That's kind of the consistency we want. So you may have to take this out and make several little trips to, uh, to finish it. Empty it, put it in your container. Uh, some people have a much larger food processor, processor than I do. Some people have smaller. Doesn't matter, take your time. So we'll be back. Welcome back. So we got everything in our food processor. It's it's pretty much set right now. We are going to use this again. We're not done. We still got our cilantro, our green onion, and our sweet peppers. Now, if you're diabetic, please don't do this. But if you're not diabetic, by all means, add some sugar in at this point. Uh, I would suggest no more than half a cup. No more than that. Uh, now I'm going to set this in the fridge and Amy's going to clean this for me before the next step. But what we're going to do is we're going to cover this. If you have room in a fridge, sit it in the fridge for about an hour. Uh, what this is going to basically do, it's going to basically let the flavors marinate a little bit, especially with the hot pepper. Uh, it's, it's pretty important. Now again, when you're dealing with this, you really, really have to be careful not to, to be very careful with it because it's... Unfortunately, it's kind of, uh, it's sharp, and it can seriously hurt you, and we don't want to see anybody get hurt, so, uh, you know, don't let your kids do this, like, seriously, like, be very careful. Uh, we had a good friend of ours once who borrowed this to help with her Christmas dinner, and, uh, yeah, she really, uh, she really hurt herself. Um, not a good thing. She actually had to go to the hospital because she almost ripped her finger off. Uh, we told her, uh, my wife actually gave her a nice little lecture for 15 minutes on how to use it properly and to be very careful. And uh, my wife, being the caring person that she is, uh, just didn't want to see anybody get hurt. Uh, so uh, she thought it, my wife was joking and uh, she really tore her finger off. So I'm not telling you this to, to, to try to convince you not to get a food processor. I think they're one of the best things in the world. I really, really believe that. I uh, think they're one of the most wonderful things in the world, to be honest with you. But you have to be careful. If you don't, then they can it can really turn deadly. Uh, this is a really cool thing. We're going to use these for nachos. Uh, however, we can get some nacho chips and we could dip it with this. Uh, it, it's really good. Uh, now, do I recommend any seasoning? No, I don't actually. Uh, some people are going to want to put a little salt in it at this stage. You can do that. Uh, I don't really want to, uh, but you can. Uh, maybe a little pepper if you really want to go crazy. Some cayenne pepper, uh, smoked paprika. But you know what? I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but I think the way it is right now, this is really good. Uh, we're going to cover this for about an hour, then we're going to come back and we're going to do the rest of the stuff here. Put, take a lime and just and just push it in here, mix it up really good, and then we're going to put in containers. And here's our salsa. I mean, I mean, look at this. I mean, this already looks really, really good. Uh, if you want to make a uh, quesadillas and you or whatever you want, you just want to make some. Uh, and you want to make some, uh, you want salsa that's a little bit different or unique. Uh, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, this is really good for that. Uh, if you're worried about sweetness, like I said, no more than half a cup of sugar, uh, maybe a little bit of honey, uh, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. That might work all right. Uh, I've heard of people actually putting, grinding up apples in there. That would go, do good. I mean, maybe an orange. I don't know that I want to do an orange, but, but you could. And that would probably sweeten up a little bit. So we're going to set this for an hour. Amy is going to uh, find something to cover this. And we're not going to set it in the fridge, so I don't really have a whole lot of room in there right now. But uh, we have a small fridge. Uh, but I'm just going to set this out for about an hour. And we'll come back to it, and we'll finish the rest of it. So uh, we'll be back. Welcome back. So we've been sitting here waiting an hour. I've been waiting patiently, Amy not so much. <laughs> uh, she really wants to try a piece of this because she's just excited to have all this. 
She likes jalapenos. She just ate one raw, by the way. How was it? It was too spicy. <laughs> so now we're going to put our hot, or, or hot pepper. We're going to put our sweet pepper in here. Some people put it in because it gives them a little bit of flavor. And if we're going to do that, we'd probably put green or yellow. But I do realize this is red, and that's perfectly fine with me. Notice when I'm cutting this up to put in here, I'm not dicing it. Now, if you don't have a food processor or a blender to do this in, cut it up as small as you can. But if you're doing this, you don't need to. I mean, you can, but you're wasting your time. Don't do it. Waste the time. So this is going to do everything for us here. So now we've got our green onion. Uh, you don't have to have these ingredients. I mean, make this your own, by all means. Like, if, if you have some other ingredients you'd like to try in it, then do it. Like, seriously. Uh, this is, you know, a very healthy meal, unless you've actually added a lot of sugar to it. Uh, then not so much, but uh, as long as you don't really add any salt, you're not adding any sugar, uh, but there's lots of other things you can use in, inside, instead of it. Uh, the peppers, I think, will add a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, the lime will help a little bit. It will help a little bit, you know what I mean? Amy's all pushing, get this done, get this done, I want to eat some of this. But she don't realize that we're not actually eating this until tomorrow. Cause oh, I'm, I know. Because I'm not really ready to, to make the actual tacos itself. Yeah. But we all know the way Amy is. And the last thing we're going to do with the food processor is cilantro. I'm not really used to cilantro a lot. I don't even know what it tastes like. Never had it, but if you watch any of the cooking shows, you always see it. Uh, I'm more for substance than I am for uh, for appearance. Yeah, you can buy a cilantro and you can stick it on top of everything and make it look really pretty. Um, you know what? I know people actually make your food look so pretty, it's not even funny. But it tastes like crap. Not even joking. That's the end of the food processor. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to take this here. We're going to take our spoon because we don't want to waste anything. No. Wasting is not good. And there's so many good things here. I mean, you can make a big batch of this and you can freeze some if you want. Yep. And again, when you're dealing with this, especially this careful. part, be very careful. Oh. Uh, I don't want to hear anybody that's watching my show get hurt from this. And believe me, you can seriously get hurt. <coughs> and I don't want to hear anybody, you know, telling me that they lost a finger or, or really cut themselves up really bad because they weren't being careful. Uh, this is why we uh, don't let our children in the kitchen this much. We take our time to teach them properly before we let them cook or help us. Because we don't let children play with sharp knives, and guess what? Mm. That could be a very sharp knife. Amy loves cleaning stuff up. Do I now? Do you tell me all the time? Amy is expecting me uh, to uh, be using paper plates the whole time she's away, so she's expecting a big garbage bag filled in the corner just of plates and stuff that I had the whole time that she was gone. Didn't happen. Nope. How clean was the house? Very. So we want to mix that really, really good. And the last thing we're going to do the wine. Now most people I've seen have used half of a wine and some lemon. Uh, some of them have even used uh, uh, just a little bit of it or what have you. However, you know what? 
I think this is really going to add to the flavor a lot, so I'm going to use the whole thing. Mm. And besides the point, it's not like I have another use for it. It's just going to go in the trash. Now, what Amy's going to do, she's, I'm going to catch her a little later and she's going to, she's going to be sucking this. <laughs> Which I don't blame her, it's actually quite good. Here, Amy, try. Other side. Oh no, yeah. other side. That was it. Good. You can put that in water too. Yep. And I tell you, Amy really is that crazy. But what do you expect? She's Dutch. I'm just joking. So now, <clears throat> that's the end of it. And mm. doing it with a food processor sometimes isn't always the greatest. If you're really fussy about the size of things, you may go through this. You might take a knife and you might uh, just chop up the rest of the stuff that you want. I am not that fussy. And this is going in, ta in with tacos tomorrow anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. And you know what? For what I put in here, I probably could have put another bag of cranberries. Probably. But you know what? I don't care. It actually looks like it's going to be kind of good. Mm. So, last piece here is I'm going to grab a spoon. And you're going to try it? Nope. I'm going to try, try it. it. So, Chef Amy, mm -hmm. take a little bit. Don't take too much. Like that? Yep. Mmm. How hot is it? Very. Very? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad, actually. It's good. It's it's really good. It does have a really strong kick to it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, actually. Uh, but that's our uh, cranberry salsa. Uh, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you next time.